الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستكفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهدي الله فلا مضل له وما يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القرآن العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify Allah We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For his protection We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his guidance We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all his bounties and favors and blessings that he has bestowed upon us I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah He is alone and he has no partner And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger Ibadallah My dear brothers and my dear sisters The world is in crisis We are seeing conflicts upon conflicts we see people being displaced we see thousands upon thousands going without food on a regular basis we see so much hunger this is a real challenge and at no time as Muslims can we ignore what we are seeing playing out in front of our own eyes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He reminds us in the Quran about taqwa, piety, righteousness and ensuring that as believers that we continuously strive to maintain that piety that righteousness, that faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, He says in the Quran, O you who believe, be dutiful. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And join right, forbid evil. And die not except that you die submissive obedient to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah wants us to be a people who share the same faith, the same values that we always look at our commonalities our similarities and we build upon it. He says in the Quran, وَاعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُمْ And hold fast together to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be not divided among yourselves. Allah reminds us 
of those before. And he says, وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ عَدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا And remember the bounties and favors of Allah, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon, upon you. When you were enemies, Allah made it happen that there was love between you. He brought your hearts together. فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَسْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا And so, by the power of Allah, through the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you became brothers. This is part of our faith, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. Unity, it's not an option. Unity among Muslims, it's part of Iman. Innamal mu'minuna ikhwa. Verily, the believers are a single brotherhood. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of that in the Quran. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Al-Muslim mu akhubu al-Muslim. The Muslim is a brother to the other Muslim. I want to remind you and remind myself today that as much as we may seem to be together, we are very much disunited at all levels. If you look at it locally, you look at it nationally, you look at it internationally, the Muslims are not together. And so, that power has been lost. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He reminds us of that in the Qur'an. When He tells us to make sure that we obey Him and we obey His Messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah says, وَأَتِعُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِيهُكُمْ وَاسْبِرُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ And obey Allah and obey His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And do not dispute among yourselves lest you lose courage. And then when you lose courage, you will lose your strength. Strength would depart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, be patient. If you are together, the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come. Verily, Allah is with those who are patient. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, I, I mention commonalities and similarities. It's all about uh, demonstrated how we are one people. It doesn't matter 
what our color is, it doesn't matter what language we speak, it doesn't matter where we came from. Unfortunately, even though we have all these evidences from Quran and the traditions of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we tend to move away from it. And, and we sometimes only support those who are from the same country like us. Those who have the same maybe color like us. Those who speak the same language like us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, La farqa bayna arabiyin wa la ajameen. There is no difference between Arab and non-Arab and he says between uh, non-Arab and Arab. There is no difference between black and white, white and black, illa bi taqwa, except by piety, good deeds, righteous deeds. This is what makes the difference. Inna akramakum indallahi atqaqum. Verily, the best of you in the sight of Allah is the one who is most righteous, the one who is most God-fearing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He reminds us of that in the Quran. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, when, when we look at those commonalities, we all believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Isn't that so? We all say, La ilaha illallah. There is none to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the fin final prophet, that he is the last of all the prophets. We all hold the Quran in esteem, that this is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is the final revelation given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that there will be no, you know, no one will be able to tarnish it in any way. Allah says in the Quran, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. Verily, we have revealed this dhikr, this Quran, and we will certainly protect it from any type of corruption, from any type of changes. And we all believe sincerely in that. Muslims believe that, uh, yes, together we all say, regardless of which part of the world Muslims are, that we stand for prayers five times daily. And that we all face one direction, the direction of the Qibla in, in, in Mecca, that we all stand and we face that direction for our prayers. That's unity, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. You see millions, regardless of where they, they, they are from, every year they go to the the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Kaaba, they perform the pilgrimage and they are black and white, they speak different languages, they come from different backgrounds and they stand shoulder to shoulder and they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's unity. Those are some of the commonalities. Those are some of the things that bring us together. And it doesn't matter where we are, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we need to always strive to make sure that we stay together. Every one of us, we want paradise. And we all say we believe. But Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was very emphatic when he said, La tadkhulu al-janna hatta tu'minu, wa la tu'minu hatta tahabu. Awa la adullukum ala shay'in idha fa'altumuhu tahababtum. 
Afshu as-salam baynakum. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, you will not enter paradise. You love to enter paradise. You will not enter paradise until you believe. And you say you have faith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, you do not have faith until you love one another. That you have that love and you show that unity that you care for each other. And you, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, shouldn't I tell you of something that if you do it, you will love one another. When we love one another, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we become closer to each other. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that, let me tell you of something that will demonstrate your love for each other. Spread salam, peace, among yourselves. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, The Muslim is a brother to the next Muslim. What is it? What does that mean? What is it that he doesn't do that provides some harm to his brother? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says he doesn't oppress him. He doesn't hand him over to the enemy. He does not disappoint him. And he does not humiliate him. Look at what is happening in the world today. And we will definitely understand if Muslims are really brothers to other Muslims. We sign pact, Abraham Accord, with others, and we want to hold fast to it. So we neglect the rights of our brothers and sisters. Where is that concept of the Muslim is a brother to the next Muslim? My dear brothers and my dear sisters, As much as we look at it from the international perspective, I, I want for us to also look at it locally and to make sure that as Muslims who are striving for unity and not for division, disunity, let us always be tolerant to each other. And that was demonstrated by our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his lifetime that it didn't matter where people came from. There was always that high level of tolerance that you tolerated people and there are certain things that you, you made them even though they might have done something that you did not appreciate, that you, you, you made them comfortable in the way that you corrected them. We may have different opinions
when we take a position with regards to our opinions, let us make sure that we do not hurt people. You know, there are so many small things that divide us. We should not make small matters in terms of fit divide us. Whether we raise our hands to our ears or raise it to our shoulder or where we put it when we stand for prayers. You know, unfortunately, they, they are massaged. If your thawb is too long, you can lead them in prayers. And if your beard doesn't have the right length, there is no way you can stand and address their crowd. That's the type of disunity or of factors that create disunity in our community. And so we need to be very careful, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, that we always look to make sure that these minor matters do not segregate us and keep us far apart from one another. Always make dua. Always make dua. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unite us. There, there is so much disunity in families. Ask Allah to keep your families together. Ask Allah to keep our communities together. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep the Muslim ummah together. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas, May Allah be pleased with him, one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that one day the Prophet was coming from Aliyah, it's a, a place in Medina, and he passed by a masjid of Banu Muawiyah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he entered the masjid. And he prayed to Rakan. His prayers was a little long. He made dua and he said, addressing the companions who were there, I asked my Lord for three things. He granted me two, but declined one. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I ask Allah that he does not cause my ummah to be destroyed by famine. And he granted me that. I ask Allah that he not cause my ummah to be destroyed by flood. And he granted me that. I ask Allah that uh, my ummah should not fight with each other. And Allah declined that. The scholars, they say that Allah will protect the ummah from nat natural disasters. But when it comes to internal strife, that they need to do something about themselves. They need to make the difference, us. Allah, He tells us in the Quran, In Allah, la yughayiru ma bi kawmin, hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusihim. Allah will not change the condition of a people 
until they change that which is within themselves. And so it is us to make that change. We can prevent fighting among ourselves. We can prevent dispute among ourselves. We can, you know, make sure that we are united. We can make sure that we stay together. We can make sure that we love one another for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we, we have to take away from inside us that animosity, that hatred, that enmity, that dislike, and to fill our hearts with love and compassion and concern and care for one another. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us united. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to overcome our challenges. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant victory unto the believers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our brothers and sisters who are displaced, who are suffering, those who are uh, every single day of their lives, they are going through this hunger state. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may He save us from the torment of the hellfire. Akulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Wa li sa'iru al-mu'minu minat min kulli dhamb. Fa astaghfiru innahu wal ghafuru rahim. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, you are the Alameen, was Salato, was Salam, or La Sayyidina Muhammad, wa ala alihi was Sabihi Ajmain, or with one Allahi, Alayhim, Ilayo Middin, Amma Bad. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, these conflicts that we see in the world, especially what we are seeing right now in Gaza, in Palestine, and in Lebanon. These conflicts are shattering the lives of so many. People are displaced. People are in a state of hunger. People don't know what to expect the next moment. And so I encourage you, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, that whatever support you can give as brothers and sisters unto those who are suffering. You remember Allah and His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encourage us to always be the ones who will make that difference, that we are always helpful to those who are in need that we stand together, especially believers. Al-mu'min lil-mu'min kalbunyan yashuddu ba'aduhu ba'ada. The believer unto the other believer is like the pillars of a building. We hold each other form. We, we make sure that people have, you know, that comfort knowing that there are people out there who will stand up for them. Because we live in a time where there, there are so many who do not stand up for justice. There are so many who are very hypocritical in terms of their speech and in terms of their commitments. There are medical professionals who have been working with the wounded and those who have been, you know, slaughtered in Gaza. And they say, they wrote a letter to the president and say, in the, in, in the, in, in the history of our profession as medical doctors, we have never seen anything like what we are seeing today. 
in terms of the, the wounded that come for them to take care of and those who have been you know, murdered, killed, they haven't seen anything like this in terms of the mutilation of their bodies. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, our brothers and sisters, regardless of where they are, they will continue to need our help and be like those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says of them in the Qur'an, وَيُطِعْمُونَ الطُعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا And they give food. They come to the rescue of others in spite of their love for it. They, they, they love to have that money. They love to have the, that resources to keep it. In, in, in spite of their love for it, they make sure that they take care of the needy. They take care of the orphan. And they take care of the captives. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, I implore you, continue to reach out to your brothers and sisters wherever they may be and continue to help them because they do need our help. لَقَدْ أَمَرُنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه غرباء أبي بكر وأمر وثمان وعليم ونستة الباكين وبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم منصر عبادك المستضعفين في غزة وفي فلسطين وفي لبنان وفي كل مكان اللهم انصرهم اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض قم لكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمه واذكروه على آلائه ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون قم الصلاه